this one word I could use to describe the first impressions of using X Jimmy Horizon Ultra, I'd probably say perfect. But does it feel the same way if we thoroughly test it? Let's inspect! Everybody, welcome to the channel, nice to meet you, I'm Michael, as usual some cool tech to be inspected over here and today we're going to talk about projectors, mostly focusing on this which totally doesn't look like a projector, but don't worry the lamp is over here on the front, has a very special mechanism, this is called Horizon Ultra by XGINI, something that the company hopes to bring on the market the perfect balance between 4K resolution, brightness, image quality features and price. And of course this thorough review is meant to help you to expose all the strong, the weak sides and figure out whether it really is as good as XGMI promised it is. The success that Horizon Ultra is supposed to achieve is to cover most features that multi-thousand dollar devices would offer at a price of a current iPhone generation. Of course, at this price point and above, there are a lot of good alternatives, such as solutions by BenQ with the famous X3000i, Epson and many others. The Horizon Ultra also severely undercuts the price of most short throw projectors, but it has to be really decent in order to convince us. On the other hand, Horizon Pro right now is $1100, very tempting, but at the same time it's good to remind you that the Ultra is launched at the very same price that the Pro has been released a few years ago. So let's unbox and see what else makes it special. This is usually something I skip in my videos, but the amount of precautions taken with the package is remarkable. XGMI have added three extra layers outside the retail box in order to guarantee safe shipping. This fact alone says a lot about the attention to the detail. The Horizon Ultra is packed into this significantly smaller than the expectations box and I think we may agree that it looks like a piece of art. Somewhat reminds me of the Bank and Olufsen styling, a lot of ports are visible on the backside, you can connect multiple peripherals. There are two HDMI ports, there's a digital audio output, a LAN port, a couple of USB ports. It's more than enough to say that you're well equipped for almost any kind of use cases. Going down the box, and here are the accessories. A power adapter. This is big and heavy, almost as big as the crazy huge brick for my laptop. And the remote, which looks so cool. By the way, it is the same as the one for Horizon Pro released in 2021 and still being rock solid about performance. Now, before you freak out because we haven't seen the lamp, let me reveal this cool secret effect. It's down to a mechanism and among the coolest ways to protect the optics. We notice a very solid bottom basis, which is at the same time the way out for part of the hot air and the materials and the fitting of Horizon Ultra are of totally new level compared to the predecessing generation. Before we dive into the discussions about performance and functions, let me point to the fact that this is not only a projector, but also a small mini PC running Android TV, so there's basic computer integrated. Concerning the most interesting tech specs, 4K 60Hz projected resolution with 2300 ISO lumen brightness and up to 200 inches projected size, support for Dolby Vision, HLG, HDR10, DCI-P3, a dual light source setup, low latency projection, the famous XGMI Intelligent Screen Adaptation Technology 3.0, a powerful Harman Kardon audio system, support for 3D video and noise of less than 20 decibels at 1 meter distance. Operating system in this case is Android TV 11. A lot of specifications and a lot of abbreviations and I know it could be very challenging reading through all of that when you try to pick the best and most suitable projector. So let's dig deeper and figure out what the meaning of that is. XGMI seemed to take advantage of the XPR technology by Texas Instruments paired with a 0.47 inch DLP chip in order to achieve this almost brilliantly looking image that you see projected. The trick to achieve that good image quality is to have perfect synchronization which with the Ultra is in place and you're gonna hardly notice any difference between the projected image from Horizon and a true 4K TV. The big upgrade this time is the light source which is now a combination between laser and LED. There are three grades of lossless adjustment, a variable iris for adjusting the brightness and the contrast, an automatic optical zoom module for lossless screen scaling and dynamic filter for the color gamut. 
Speaking of which, the projector is covering 95.5% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. In real life this is going to result into broader amounts, probably a bit more vivid colors, especially when you compare it to projectors which are relying on the REC709 color space. And yeah, the specs so far sound brilliant and if we look at the rest, even the speakers are close to 50% more capable as compared to the Pro model, relying now on two 12W speakers by Carmen Cardon. And I know most people don't care that much about specs, they would care more about the actual performance, so let's dig deeper and explore more of the features. As a starter, the setup procedure is quite simple. You can of course connect a number of peripherals, but I would recommend getting to know the functions first in order to better understand how to get the maximum out of all. Think about the placement. I believe the misty gold color choice and the overall design are a great idea to disguise dust which may cover the top over time. We have a flow cover with fabric protecting the optics and some areas covered by eco-friendly PU leather which is water, oil and dust resistant. Even the power supply has a similar texture and color and it's refreshing to see something different to just black. After you find the right spot, time to talk about the software. Since the operating system is Android TV, the setup is straightforward and if you have your smartphone around, you can speed the whole process up. From this point on, concerning the content, it's mostly up to you and your subscriptions. If you want to watch YouTube in 4K, perfectly responsive and beautiful. Same about Amazon Prime Video, HBO Max, there even is a way to run Netflix, not from Play Store though, and XGMI promised that they actively work on getting permission and certification about it. It's a temporary workaround, if that's easier to you, you can use another player, like the Xiaomi TV Stick 4K, because HDMI input is supported. Going further, I was really impressed with the picture controls. In fact, the automatic settings are great. By default, the image runs in cinematic modes. You can customize the scale, the colors, the brightness. If you accidentally move the device or need to adjust the angle, there is the ISA 3.0 which is gonna kick in. First of all, auto keystone correction, promising zero distortions, no matter the throw angle. There's also automatic focus detection and the feature that I value the most, human eye protection, toning down the brightness should an object appear in front of the lamp. Image quality is insane for the size of this projector, colors, contrast, sharpness, perfectly tuned. Even if you play it in a bright room, it's gonna look good and not pale. Apparently, the difference between 300 Hansi Lumens and 2300 is quite significant. XGMI light technology achieves a comfortable natural spectrum, ultra-high brightness and a huge color gamut with exceptional color accuracy for lifelike experience. And of course, if the image at some point appears too bright for your taste, you can go for a lower brightness level. Concerning the colors, it's good to remind you about the Dolby Vision certification. Horizon Ultra is the first long throw 4K projector supporting this kind of experience. Among the easiest ways to try it out is to get the Apple TV app in the Google Play Store and then you can find some Dolby Vision graded content such as luck, long way up, loot or you can also download the Disney Plus app and find the Dolby Vision graded content over there. If any additional apps are needed, open Google Play, get whatever you need. The projector is equipped with 2GB of RAM, a quad-core processor and 32GB of internal storage, which is of course expandable. On top, very low latency of the image at just 18 milliseconds. So gaming is in fact something that you could enjoy here a lot. A laptop or a desktop PC can be connected via HDMI port and just play. I think this is the better alternative as opposed to whatever is present for Android TV in terms of gaming because graphics for mobile devices look too basic and you really want to enjoy these details in 4K resolution. Movies and videos are of course another big source of entertainment. If you want to adapt the colors according to your taste, it's available from the menus. Also, I like a lot the quick menu setting that XJimmy have brought to the remote control. While we don't count on dedicated buttons for apps like YouTube or Netflix, something that becomes a trend with the TV stick manufacturers or smart TVs, you have quick access to most of the functions. Let me now adjust the volume and play an audio track so that we can rate the speaker quality.
And now, this is how the projector's fan sounds. Noise is below 28 decibels at a 1 meter distance. Some more extras are present on top, of course. It is Android TV, so you can easily cast your favorite content via Chromecast if you have Android, or use Magic Cast or AirPlay for iOS devices. Okay, so many great functions and features, but did I stumble across any drawbacks? Well, I actually did. A tiny one which can have quite a big impact, the remote comes without backlight for the buttons and the current Netflix situation, which I hope to see resolved sooner rather than later. The rest is close to perfection. That's a projector designed in an excellent way by XGMI. And even the processing generation, the Horizon Pro, is still well worth it, although released in 2021. You can check the video description area for a coupon code because right now it's at a ridiculously low price given the fact that all the focus goes in direction X Jimmy Horizon Ultra. And yes, it brings most of the projector features on a totally new level. The keystone correction, the continuous autofocusing system, the screen adaptation technology, the brightness of 2200 ANSI lumens and the LED and laser back technology that's amazing, especially given the starting price. So that's my take on XGMI Horizon Ultra. Definitely worth inspecting and I hope all these examples and tests that we have performed over here are helping you to figure out whether that's the right choice for you. In case you have questions or you want to share your opinion, please comments are down below the video. And if you enjoyed the video or would like to support my work over here on the channel, at least give us a like, subscribe, maybe you can find some of the other ways which are posted in the description area together with the link to buy the Horizon Ultra. Thanks a lot for watching, I'm Michael, can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye!